Hey everybody, welcome back to the Track Limits podcast presented by Formula Addict. We're here at Crater Club in Toronto. The Hungarian Grand Prix has just ended and there is not too much to talk about, yeah. but a little bit to talk about. Oh yeah. yeah. Let's run through the top 10. We had in 10th Stroll, then in 9th you had Fernando Alonso, in 8th you had Carlos Sainz, in 7th you had Charles Leclerc, and then you get into George Russell, P6, you had Piastri, P5, Lewis Hamilton in P4, and then you got your podium, Sergio Perez storming to 3rd, Lando Norris back-to-back 2nd place, Boom. and Verstappen in 1st. So a couple of DNFs, two in particular, both sadly <laughs> from the same team. Alpine once again have two DNFs and the fastest lap was Verstappen. Mikey, on to you. 35th birthday yesterday. Woo woo woo. Your thoughts on the race. Was oh, that a oh, birthday I, gift for you? Wait, oh. yeah, wait, I thought you just turned 25. Yeah, yeah 25. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Um, <laughs> no, I enjoyed the race. It was good. Like, I think we got to see that McLaren, it wasn't a fluke. Like, those upgrades are clearly working. Piastri was good. It was a li- nice little battle with Checo. Um, I totally enjoyed the race. There was a lot of mid-pack fighting going on. Yeah. Um, but the comment on the Alpines, like, those guys can't catch a break. Like, that is terrible. What that are is the shocking. chances that both of them hit each other? Oh, man, lap one, turn one, <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, we're done. Yeah. Oh, man, no, it's terrible, terrible. They're here to watch Oppenheimer now. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> Straight God. Straight to the movie. <laughs> Barbenheimer, they're doing the whole scene. Niru, welcome back, by welcome. the way. Thank you. Thank you for jumping on. Of what are course. your thoughts about the race? You know what? Overall, still exciting race. You have kind of had to look for like those mid mid battles here and there. Verstappen obviously went out and took you know, the, the win that he had to. Hmm. Um, continuing his lead of uh, absolute dominance. Um, disappointed by Lewis, to be honest. You could have seen, expected a lot more, uh, especially after that elation on Saturday. Yep. But a lot of very good uh, mid-season battle, mid, mid-battles here and there. And looking out for Ricardo as well, I think, uh, you know, great, great first race back. Right. And then Henny, 12th win in a row now for Red Bull. They beat McLaren's record. 1988 record. Yep. Your thoughts? I'm going to say the opposite. It was actually quite boring race. And I was telling Mikey while we we're watching the race, I was like, once once you have that gap, you're just maintaining your mm-hmm. your pace so that you don't kill your tires because it's a high dig uh, track. But other than that, it was good to see Checo back there. Um, and he made it to Q3. So <laughs> I don't lose all my money. Checo's <laughs> beam with confidence after this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but they still need to improve his qualifying. Leaving him on track, we talked about this two minutes or on the pit lane before mm. the time starts and cooling your tires and then having a horrible last run is why he started ninth and he could have done much better even though they introduced a new package and they're still working out the kinks of it they they still 30 second gap to max and lando like that's ridiculous Insane. he's he's still i think we were even saying like max like was it in the last lap he's like he could pitch again and still have five seconds <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that's yeah. ridiculous and Henny, for those who don't know what was the upgrade that red bull brought in like, yeah so they probably the the whole side pod the inlet is pretty much like paper thin now they're mm-hmm. trying to they know that the honda engine can take that kind of pressure uh, it would be actually really interesting to see that car in Mexico when the alt- altitude changes mm-hmm. and there's Good a point. lot more pressure to see if that car can handle that because now we're in Europe so they can handle this altitude pressure. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. The side pod didn't really change. They actually got more bulkier. Um, they actually moved more into the Ferrari thicker sides of it. But the inlet is much smaller. So there's more intake, the straight line speed, and that DRS is only going to get better. Yeah. But it's clearly working. Let's yeah. just say that it's one. working really well. What's cool about this race, I was talking to someone at the watch party, is when you look at the pecking order, yeah. it really is indicative of where the teams overall are at. Mm-hmm. I mean, Red Bull obviously at the top. You have kind of McLaren, Mercedes, you know, depending on the weekend, might edge each other out. And yeah. then you have Ferrari and Aston Martin. So mm-hmm. the top yeah. 10 really just fell into place yeah. by the end of the race, which was kind of cool to mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. Did anyone expect the Alfa Romeos? To do well, or was that a disappointment? Or not I think really? Guanajuato forgot to start the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think stall the car, stall, stall the car. Didn't f- forgot that there was a race happening, <laughs> and it's like, oh, I'm not. I haven't been in this position before. Yeah. I should start racing. Yeah. Um, very, very strange from him. But uh, Valtteri Bottas, I mean, he was out of the point, I believe. Yeah, yeah. twelve fighting 12? with Albon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fight, fighting with Albon for like but twenty laps or so. Yeah. They started so well. You're expecting so much from them, and then go, ah, oh, disappointing at the end. But you know, hopefully next race is better for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, let's not forget, it's also a high dig yeah. or like yeah. a high downforce track. So you don't really have to care about top line speed and all that. Mm-hmm. And that's probably why it kept them really close in a bunch. But it's like, like the Haas, they have no, they have no race pace mm-hmm. and yeah. for that. They lost it. 
I'm and Hulkenberg in qualifying. Yeah. He always yeah. pulls it out of the bag. Like, <laughs> you just know the one lap end. wonder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On the more positive note, what was your best moment of the race? What was like the best part that you took away, Mikey? Best part? Um, I think it was like opening lap. Piastri mm. was so clever that he knew. Once you see Max and Lewis fighting, he took the inside line. Mm. Yeah. He, Planned that perfectly. I think I've said it before as well, but Piastri, like, he's, he, he's got so much experience, but he's new to the sport. But he mm. held his cool. Okay, he was fighting with Checo, but it shows that he's willing to put his, shoulder, his elbows out. So best moment was the opening lap, seeing Piastri go for it, and they held it. McLaren as well. Like, it's not a fluke. They're, they're here. So it's good. Like, mm. Ferrari needs to step up. Austin Martin needs to yeah, step yeah, up. Yeah. Like, so, no, I, I, I enjoyed it. Any you agree? Yeah, I agree. I, I think my best moment was Piastri and Checo fighting. Mm. That yeah. that a rookie would have probably just let it happen a few corners behind, but he was like, I'm coming back at you. And I, I think that was just a race incident. I don't think there was any malicious no, act, was, uh, activity yeah. with Checo. He was just racing, and that was probably the best part for me. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I think some of the pit stops actually were quite surprising today yeah. as well. Oh my God. Uh, McLaren coming out of nowhere during 1.9, two seconds. Yeah, that was good. Um, yeah. And Mercedes being consistently at 2.8 seconds, mm. which I know Swish is not too <laughs> happy about. <laughs> I don't know who they're hiring. I'm like, how? How? What is it? Needs to get Callum from Red Bull. Yeah, yeah, exactly. uh, I want to see one pit stop by Mercedes under 2.5. You know what? If they do that, yeah. no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 Right. And I think it's a good performance overall, but it's good. I mean, I bet it'll build up his confidence. And we oh, yeah. know that Daniel, I mean, just like any other driver, confidence is key. Mm -hmm. Right. Like once you're confident, once you start getting into the car and feeling like you're in a rhythm, the performances will come out. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm hoping that that continues. In terms of the kind of flip version, what was the worst moment, Henny, for you? Like what was the big surprise, big letdown? Anything that you were like, oh, uh, the biggest letdown would probably be, you said it earlier, it would have been Hamilton. And again, I was discussing, I was like, maybe whoever starts in first doesn't heat up their tires mm, fast enough. Today. Mm. Yeah. Because this is, Lewis also did the same thing that Max was doing previous races where he starts and he can't get that uh, tire to warm up. So I don't know, maybe that might be it. But if not, then that's kind of disappointing for to see Lewis like lose two positions pretty much right from the first corner. Mm. Uh, that was it for me. You agree, Mark? Yeah, to kind of touch on that as well, is like you look at Lewis and you're like, oh, fourth. Now he's fighting for Checo for third. Yeah. But then you look at George, desperate qualifying, mm, but he's yeah. in the points in eight. Like he did 10 overtakes. Yeah. So, like, yeah, Lewis is, that was a little bit disappointing. Um, I think he finished sixth. Lewis? I mean, no, uh, no. Uh, George. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Leclerc had oh, the he penalty. Did, he had the Leclerc. penalty, yeah. I got that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so there you go. 18 to 6. That's, no one's talking nuts. about it. Very good. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. He yeah. did drive really well. Yeah. Um, other disappointing moment was maybe just like Joe. Like, I, I, hmm. I, okay, they were going to get eaten alive, but like he qualified fifth. That's the highest ever qualified. Like, you yeah. want to see a bit of a battle. So that yeah. was a little bit disappointing. Hmm. Mine was Leclerc, man. I don't know. It's it's <laughs> one thing, you know, you have a 9.4 second pit stop. Fair enough. Yep. But then the speeding penalty, like these yeah. careless errors, yeah. you yeah. know. He's pushed him. He's mm -hmm. trying to, yeah. From P6 yeah. to P7. I mean, that's a point though. That's yeah. important mm. for you. And yeah. it's become consistent with Ferrari. Yeah. Carlos got it a few races back too. With these speeding and like I don't know what they're who'd doing. have taught Ferrari making mistakes. I, guess. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Wow. <laughs> but also, who, who's 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 leading in not the drivers between Charles and Science? Science, Science. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Science, Science is Charles is a yeah. business start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Science is still. Oh my, he's feeling the pressure. Yeah. 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 Who's the number one driver there? I think <laughs> <laughs> just a moment of silence here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we know. <laughs> yeah. I, I would still think Charles. it's Charles. Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah. he gets yeah. their future. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, I, I, I think again, it feels like de deja vu. Mm. I feel like Ferrari talk about Ferrari all the time now. Every week, it's just like something that always happens. Whether it's a pit stop or the race strategy, I feel like the drivers now are like running the strategy at this point. Yeah. As well, like telling the team, be like, no, we should go do this. We should go do this instead. And again, Charles, with that s careless mistake of like speeding, mm -hmm. um, it's just it just feels like the world doesn't want him to win. I mean, like he's won the lottery in all other departments. He's good looking. He races Ferrari, one uh, born in Monaco. Yeah. But then with his F one career, it's like, what what's going on, man? Yeah. Uh, so it was disappointing from that end. And kind of like um, to touch on as well it, from like a competition point of view. Uh, seeing Max dominate so well to the point where he's asking like 
just checking in. <laughs> how's your family doing? How's yeah. your, how are your kids doing? <laughs> like you're doing so well, you can just have a casual conversation. Yeah. So it's just it, it was more funny than um, uh, a bad moment to say. Yeah, yeah. But it is worth noting that uh, Red Bull has stopped bringing from this race on. They're going to stop bringing major upgrades, mm-hmm. and their full focus is on next year. So post summer break, we will see a lot more fighting Correct. with the other teams bringing their upgrades and bunching up the front grid even though they have constructors it's gonna be real battles and max will have to fight in the future races for sure mm. and yeah. then next year red bull continued their advantage <laughs> <laughs> there you go how is that wind tunnel penalty coming in then because it's, it's yeah. hurting them for next year for yeah. sure which for is why year. they're dedicating most of whatever they have this year yeah. into next year also yeah yeah it'd be just nice to see max actually battle on track right. like yeah. even his first pit stop today he'd got such a buffer that he didn't actually come behind, come behind out anyone. behind yeah. anyone. No, he yeah. came out first. Yeah. Whereas, like, Max is known for his aggressive driving style and his overtakes. And, like, you got to give him credit. He's outperforming everybody. Check was the same yeah. care. Mm-hmm. But, like, we still want to see Max, like, yeah. Get, yeah. get stuck in and drive yeah. hard. Yeah. It, it brings a point where uh, Alpine has said, well, our engines are 20 to 35 horsepower behind everyone else and they're calling for equalization uh, this is going to be a hot topic coming Those in are with the regulations that. oh yeah. really okay so they are that behind and they're calling for equalization in the next regulation change can we just do a christian harder fix your damn yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 car i hope that doesn't happen though yeah i feel like no. the beauty of yeah. f1 is yeah. in yeah. the car itself and building yeah. it. yeah they yeah. just submitted a proposal to fia no it. like a team does well gets an extra few horsepower good on them they yeah. did the engineering they, they yeah. spend yeah. time and yeah. money and resources everyone has a, has a resource cap yeah. like budget cap like no, fair play to them. Like. But that's because the regulations are so focused on engine power yeah. next yeah. in the twenty twenty six. So they're like, we're gonna get screwed. Yeah. Oh. Speaking yeah. of regulations, though, one obviously hot topic this weekend was the tire strategy, mm. the tire allocation. Sorry. Yeah. What did you guys think of the ATA? Haha, <laughs> I'm using the acronym, but <laughs> alternative <laughs> tire allocation. Henny, what were your thoughts? You know, going from thirteen to eleven. I liked it. Yeah. It changed up the whole dynamic of what you would see in a qualifying, but I would still want. Pirelli to still give them enough tires instead of reducing two sets of tires, still bring in your full weekend, but still offer the same qualifying just so that fans on Friday can actually enjoy watching practice and not having teams sit for 20 minutes in the garage Mm because they have no tires to use. That's just uh, nonsense for me. That's true because yeah. also on Friday it rained a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Like that was the best case scenario because they had to come out on like intermediates, intermediates. or wet. Yeah. yeah. But if that didn't happen, like That's most of the cars would have been in the say. garage being like, well, we're just going to do one run. Yeah. They don't want to use their tires. Mikey, yeah. Nero, any opposing thoughts here? No, no, no. Yeah. I, sh- I think I share the same sentiment. Mm. I think, uh, firstly, I didn't know this qualifying format was happening. I think it changed it a lot of the actual um, qualifying itself and made, made things interesting. I know some drivers are complaining about it, uh, how if you don't have enough mechanical grip, uh, the bottom teams kind of just struggle a lot more. But yeah. um, I personally just it made it more enjoyable for as fans to, to yeah. watch, honestly. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, way better. Because like you, you forget as well, like you think like a hard tire, all cars perform the same. They don't. Like yeah. let's say the Mercedes has a hard time getting the hard up to temperature. That's yeah. why they're nearly out in Q1. So no, it, I, I totally enjoyed it. Yeah. But I do like your comment of like going, you can't give them a restricted amount of tires and then on Saturday, no team is going to push yeah. because they don't want to wreck their tires. Yep. Maybe skip a practice. Because remember, yeah, yeah. remember they were talking about skipping a practice and drivers like, yeah, we don't need it. Yeah. Maybe give some of the feeder series like F, F2 or That's whatever. Yeah. Turn, yeah. Sure, you could re, 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 repurpose that time. But no, we totally enjoyed it. Then we need to give enough time as well. Like obviously this is the first weekend they're, they're, they're testing yeah. it out. But I think give it a full season of actually yeah. do it, trying it out and see what sort of kinks come yeah. out of it. Because it did get canceled in Barcelona because of rain. Mm-hmm. They were first going to introduce it in Barcelona. No, 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 Imola. Oh, Imola. Imola. Yes. Yeah, 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 it got canceled the race. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was the one. When's the next track that they're going to do the same tire? I actually have no idea. I don't know if they are going to. Oh, maybe to. it's a one-off or maybe They were going to do, no. I think, two, right? I think, yeah, I think they were going to do two. There's one more race. One I'm, more. For, I'm forgetting okay. what other okay. race they were going to plan on yeah. doing it at. Yeah. That's we are going to be releasing special ATA merch, by the way. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? 11 times. <laughs> <laughs> Next race is Spa. It is a fan yeah. favorite. It is our favorite, I think, right? Yeah, All yeah, of yeah. us. We Thank love you. that track. Uh, pretty cool track because it's balanced between long straights, but then a ton of corners, obviously, mm. especially in sector High two corners, and yeah. three. And last year, we saw Max storm in possibly one of the best drives yeah. mm. all the way from the back to the front pretty quickly. What do we think this year, Henny? Like your thoughts on Spa? Is it going to be a fun race or is it going to be a race you don't want to tune in for? Uh, yeah, well, it's sprint format. Yep. So we're going to see another Saturday of racing. I don't know. It's, that That's a challenging one. I, I think we're going to see Red Bull 
like destroy it again. Yeah, outside of Red yeah. Bull. Outside, outside of Red, yeah. Red, outside Red Bull. Bull yeah. It would be really interesting to see McLaren's top speed mm. and their DRS mm. effect uh, effectiveness, I guess. Uh, other than that, Austin Martin is going to struggle. They have too much drag. They're pretty much going to be out the picture unless they bring a massive package that we don't know about. And then other teams, Williams will probably perform Drake really well in the first and third sectors. Um, other than that, I think it's going to be the same thing what we saw today with everyone being in the same position they should be. And mm. Ferraris, the, if they have high deck, then they're probably going to be pretty bad. Yeah. Mikey, what are you looking forward to? Yeah, I'd like to see McLaren back up there because it's new now. It's like, yeah. oh, let's get these guys going. Um, maybe Alpine. Alpine were always known for their, for top, their speed, yeah. top speeds. Um, but it'd be great to see Albon fighting for points again. Mm. Mm. Like, let's see what Danny Rick can do. Yeah. Because yeah. don't forget, like, okay, so he's he's confident after this weekend, but I guarantee you Danny Rick's going to be under pressure. Because, like, again, it's Red Bull. It's a junior team. There's there's obligations to yeah. meet. Like, and they the want... the worst car on the grid. Yeah, yeah, but, again, it's like anything. Your only reference points your teammate. Yeah. So he did well. He outqualified Yuki. He drove better than Yuki. Yep. Yuki's been on a fight, on, on a roll, though. So you better believe Yuki's coming back yeah, next bring weekend. Yeah. <laughs> bring, bring it in. Bring it in. So bring there back. could be a cool dynamic within that team. Yeah. So I'm curious yeah. to see how that works out next weekend. Near you love Spa or no? No, I freaking love Spa. I think it's yeah. one of my favorite tracks. I think it's unbeatable as a track, honestly. But I think we're going to see next week a bit more of a Red Bull dominance. Mm. I think it's going to be more about individual stories, like you said, like Ricardo. Mm. Uh, even Perez, you know, he had a lot of pressure on him this entire weekend to come out of Q3 and then perform really well on, on Sunday. Yep. So let's see if he keep, continues to keep that up because Ricardo's breathing down his neck. Yeah. Uh, and he, he's, he's there, you know. He might be in the Alpha Tower, but, like, the next step is Red Bull or somewhere else. So mm. yep. we'll, we'll have to keep an eye out for him. And yeah. someone who's done traditionally well on this track, Carlos Sainz, right? Carlos yeah. Sainz mm. pole yeah. last year, like, almost at the fastest lap last year as well. I got to say, I know this is a surprise. You know, people know that You're I'm not Ferrari. maybe the biggest Sainz fan. <laughs> He's been driving incredibly well. Like, I've enjoyed watching him yeah. on track, especially yeah. in the early few laps. I know, obviously, he's on the soft tire this, this race, but even, you know, a few races ago, like, he's the type of guy who's going for those lunges. His pace is ridiculous mm -hmm. to the point where we were even talking, like, do they just let them switch? And mm. obviously, it never happens, yeah. but I'm looking forward to Carlos. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it yeah. feels like he's always fighting against his own team, not other team. That's the problem. Yeah. That's yeah. why I even asked who's the number driver, because mm. think of it, even today... He was giving his engineer a debrief. Yeah. yeah. Like he was, was, he was in the race. But that goes to show that I don't think he trusts. Because no. if you don't have full trust in your team. Yeah. Why then, would you be doing that? Yeah, yeah. So I think he's in a tough place. Because even with all the rumor mills of like, oh, where's driver go to here, driver mm. go there. No one's talking about science. No one's yeah. talking about him. So I don't know. Yeah. It'd be cool if he can like pull something big out of the bag yeah. next week. Let's go. We're rooting for him. Yeah. Rooting for him. Just to end off, any changes that we have to talk about on the constructors or, or driver side? Nothing, right? No, I don't think so. Is oh. Red Bull still on top? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> McLaren, I think, right? Where's Alpine now? Because yeah. no points. Oh, they're getting no today. points for them. Yeah. yeah. And McLaren's probably uh, climbing up like ridiculously now. They have a fair bit to go, though. Yeah, yeah. I still have a. Because it's going to be. It's right now. It's Red Bull, Mercedes, for uh, Aston Martin. 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 Yep. Yeah. For how long more? I know. Well, not, not that long. Stroll's not performing that well, so I could see yeah. easily McLaren bumping yeah, them up. Yeah, but even Alonso in Montreal was like, yeah, I want to I want to start winning. And then all of a sudden, it just went downhill from <laughs> yeah. there. So like, God damn. Yep. So anyway, Belgium's looking forward to uh, obviously a great race there. Thank you all for joining us. By the way, guys, we have a very cool surprise that we're going to show on our next race reflection episode. So definitely stay tuned for that. It'll be a prop. Ooh. Of some kind. Oh, no, I'm curious. Yeah, Ooh. I don't even know what it Wait, is. Wait, what is this? Yeah, I guess we'll find out. He's like, surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the race and this reflection episode. Please drop us a follow, leave a like button, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Thanks.